All right. So, so Scarlett has a sales call question. How do I tell my fee if they didn't even ask? I had a Zoom with a referral who very much needs my services and was all in. Even though I asked her if she had any questions, my fee was not one of them. So when it was time to take her credit card number, she panicked a bit when I told her the price. I offered a downsell with the option to upgrade and she took it, but I'd love suggestions on how to tell them the cost if they don't ask. That's a great question. It can be so awkward, right? Like that's so awkward when that happens. So never happened before. <laughs> well, you know, great. Well, now you're prepared for next time. So I think that, um, you know, when you're having the discussion, you can mention the fee as part of explaining how your services work. So when you're telling like, this is how I work with people, you could say, as we plan things out, I want to outline how I charge for these services to make sure that we're aligned from the start or whatever the language is. But, um, you know, I always, if, if I'm having a conversation with something about, you know, really anything, I, I, I will find a way to, to fit that in there because I don't want anybody to be shocked and I don't want to waste their time and I don't want to waste my time. So it might just be like, okay, well, I mean, just very matter of factly, you don't have to pause. And you don't have to explain why you charge this. You know, you don't have to say, well, it takes me a lot of time to do this and this and this. So therefore I have to no, if it's the price is the price and like it's for you or is it, it you, you know, that's good with you or it isn't. And price is such a personal thing. So, I mean, not that this is necessarily relevant to your question, but since I made that sentence, I want to say this sentence, which is, I used to, I was so hung up on charging something early, early on in my business. And Todd Herman was like, I said, that, that is, nobody can afford that or that's too expensive. And he said, um, it's not up, it's not up to you to decide. You don't get to decide. Like, that's not because you put your personal, you know what I mean? Like what I think is expensive and what they say think is expensive is, is not the same thing. Not that that's what you were asking, but. But yeah, I mean, I just, I just would work it in and um, maybe practice saying it a couple of times if it feels awkward, but I don't find, I don't think you're going to have any problem with that. Do you? No, I don't. I don't think so. And then as you were talking, I, I have done that. It's just that she was just so like in and like, if any questions, she's no, nope. I, she said, I, I know everything from the person who referred. So that's it. So because she's traveling, she used that as an ex I know she's going to upgrade. I know it because she's going to need my shopping. And the, what I'm offering her now is nothing to right. shopping. But it was such a, an awkward situation. And I let it happen. I mean, that's the bottom line. So Well, that's okay. I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, it, it was easy to, to think that, like, especially since she was referred, you might have assumed that your friend shared with her, you know, your pricing. Because I probably would have assumed that as well. So. You know, no biggie. And I think you made, I think it was smart that you did the downsell with the opportunity for her to upgrade. So awesome. Thanks for the great question.